Hi, and welcome. As we start to talk about today's tutorial, here's something important to know. Microsoft Copilot isn't just one tool. It's a whole ecosystem. Whether you're using the desktop app for Word, the web version of Word, or even Copilot in Microsoft 365 Chat, there are multiple ways to get things done. In this video, I'll show you how to use Microsoft Copilot to create a polished executive brief and memo with Copilot in Word. But keep in mind, you can apply similar steps across different platforms. So regardless of how you work with Copilot, you can still complete the task. My name is Jared Edge, and I'm the director of SharePoint and Microsoft 365 services at Spindustry. I help our clients reach their SharePoint and Microsoft goals. And that includes helping them with Copilot AI. Executive briefs and memos are essential for clear communication, but writing them can be time consuming. With Copilot and Microsoft Word, we'll take a blank document and have Copilot help us create what we need. And by the way, even if you are starting from an existing document, Copilot can still help you complete your task faster than doing it all by yourself. Let's see how. Here you will see that I'm using the desktop version of Microsoft Word and that I have a blank Word document already open. You probably also noticed that Copilot is everywhere in my document. Just hovering around the document shows Copilot icons in different locations. Although there is a Copilot button in the ribbon, for this example, we'll just type our prompt in the document. Draft a one-page executive brief summarizing our second quarter performance, highlighting key wins, challenges, and next steps for leadership. Check out what Copilot has generated for us. A complete document, well-structured and ready to go. Although I don't think we should send this to anyone yet. Let's try a few things. First, let's work on the tone and the structure. Even though you will notice several built-in shortcuts that allow you to just click your way to success, here are a few prompts to help us get where we want to go. Make the tone more formal and concise. You can see here at the bottom that even though changes have been made, the previous version is still reachable. I can use this toggle to look at all of the versions of text that were generated during this conversation. Eventually we will click keep it, but not yet. Add a short introduction and a call to action at the end. Copilot will again do the work and add what we asked for, exactly where we wanted it. Again, you can compare the versions if you like. Convert this into a bulleted memo format. Nice. Basically, we are just guiding Copilot where we would like it to go by having a conversation with it. This is called prompting and is arguably the most important thing to understand about working with any AI. Let's see what else we can do. Try these prompts. Insert a table summarizing quarter two KPI. I have to say that's pretty amazing. How about this one? Include a quote from the CEO's Q2 town hall. It's 
it looks like the town hall data was added successfully. Keep in mind that none of the data itself is real, at least not in this example. Or this one. Add a section on customer feedback trends. All of this was done without leaving Microsoft Word. Now let's try a little formatting in our document. Try this prompt. Format this memo using a professional layout with bold section headers and consistent font styles. Nice. Now we'll jump over to the Microsoft 365 Copilot chat page. Or if you prefer, you can also reach this page via Microsoft Teams. Here I'll make a simple prompt to see if Copilot can do some work on my behalf. Here I have a 10,000 plus word document that neither of us wants to read. It's really long and about a topic that I'm not familiar with. However, I was asked to be a part of the discussion and represent our organization. Let's see if Copilot can summarize this document for me and break it down in a way that I can understand it. Here's my prompt. I would like you to summarize this document for me. Keep in mind that I am not familiar at all with this topic. However, I need to be able to speak intelligently about the topic. I need a summary that is understandable to a non-expert, but will enable me to accomplish my mission. Check out the result. Take a minute to look through it. You'll see that it really did make the document and the topic easier to understand. Let's say this is something that I am often asked to do. Why not save this prompt and reuse it again? Here's how. First, I'll go to my previous prompt and hover over it. Then I'll click the Save Prompt icon. Give my prompt a good title and then save. After this, to use that prompt again, I'll click the View Prompts icon just above where I would enter a new prompt. Here I can see all of the helpful prompts that Microsoft has created, but what I really want is to click on Your Prompts so that I can select my new prompt. Let's summarize a different document using this familiar prompt. I'll select a different document. This one is about Mars and is still a subject I would know nothing about. I'll let Copilot do its job. Take a second to review your result. As you can see, the prompt works just as well as it did the first time. And to be clear, I could continue the conversation with Copilot and ask it as many questions as I like until I understand everything that I wanted to understand. 
So, let's review what we've learned. We used Copilot and Word to draft a professional brief, refine the tone and structure, and to add additional supporting content. We also had Copilot help us format the presentation of the document and summarize a document that we did not want to read. Definitely good stuff. Whether you're writing for leadership, your team, or yourself, Copilot can help you get where you need to go faster.